we just uh, did some of the most uh, twisty and torturous roads in California, the 33 and the 150, and I was beating the car to death, honestly. I was doing things that were extremely illegal. I mean, it would have been a deep tissue cavity search, okay? I mean, it was amazing. And the car just held up so well. I mean, if, if I'd closed my eyes, I could have been in a BMW 550, and that's an amazing compliment. That was motoring's David Booth, old enough to have a few cynical bones in his body, saying that Hyundai was catching BMW with its new Genesis, the company's first foray into the luxury market. Well, the Genesis did win the North American Car of the Year, in fact, the Canadian Car of the Year. Well, this week we're in the beautiful Okanagan Valley area in British Columbia for the launch of the 2015 Genesis. Now, unlike the first generation, Hyundai is making no bones about the fact that it is taking dead aim at the German competition. In fact, this car was benchmarked against the likes of the 5 Series, the E-Class, and the Audi A6. Now, I can hear some of you right now chuckling, saying, hey, Hyundai and its corporate brother Kia, they're into value, not luxury. Well, it's been reported that Hyundai has invested almost $500 million in developing this car. Now, that is a commitment. Let's check it out. I was president and CEO when we uh, brought our first Genesis out. Now it's my first day of retirement when we're bringing out the uh, Genesis uh, 2.0. So it's a big occasion on a couple of reasons. The perception out in the public uh, in Canada and, and the United States is still uh, lags way behind where our product is. I can say without any bias, because uh, I am retired now, that our products are, are a step ahead, I think, of uh, most of our competitors. So it's a real job for us to try to change that perception and bring our brand image up to where the product is where it deserves to be. The Genesis is an impressive car and it's gonna shake the tree. I mean, if you look at a model for model, it's almost $10,000 less than an Infiniti, than an Acura, than a Lexus. And you know what? It's as good as those products. It is still a nice car. And I think that basically Hyundai is pulling the whole family up. If you look at the vehicle back then, it was kind of okay, but it didn't have a style that was basically uh, popping up besides all the others. Today, it's also a blend. You see a little BMW here, you see a little Infiniti there, but it's a better car altogether. We have standard all-wheel drive. That's actually a big uh, feature for us. Uh, the other uh, feature that uh, we're very proud of is that Hyundai is uh, the only car company in the world that manufactures their own steel. The vehicle has almost 52% high strength steel. Uh, with that, we have a much more solid vehicle. It's safer, it's actually quieter. The purpose of our closed course demonstration here is to showcase the fact that the car now has standard all wheel drive for the Canadian market and also to showcase the handling improvements that were made with the all new chassis for 2015. The test off to my right here is a wet 180 degree turn. We're showcasing the new 2015 model next to its predecessor to showcase how the all wheel drive system allows the car to easily exit the corner as opposed to the previous rear wheel drive model which struggles a little bit more to get out of the water. Now both the V6 and the V8 are carryover powertrains from the previous generation, but the engines have been tweaked simply because this is a heavier vehicle. Now the V6 will be the big seller, 311 horsepower, it's more than enough power. However, for me, I'm a sucker for a V8, and I'm gonna go, if I had the money, with the V8 5 liter, 420 horsepower, and both the V6 and the V8 are made into what I think is a very sweet eight-speed transmission. This vehicle is actually uh, a dedicated uh, chassis for Hyundai. Uh, Rear-wheel drive chassis designed specifically for our premium cars, both the Genesis and the Equus. And with our uh, five liter V8, it puts out three, or 420 horsepower, um, it's one of the, uh, the, the, the most powerful vehicles in its class. Fit and finish, driving, noise and cancellation system is good. What they have now is the right ingredient. They added a four-wheel drive that was cruelly missing from what we have right now. 
Couple of new things on the 2015 Genesis. One, they have put the Genesis, the winged Genesis nameplate on the front of the car. There wasn't one on the previous generation, so I guess that is a sign of confidence. The other one, as much as a lot of us like a rear wheel drive vehicle, hey, it's Canada. I think Hyundai made the smart move by bringing in all wheel drive. It's the type of vehicle where uh, quietness is very important, the driving stability is very important, the driving dynamics are important, all of the features that are in the car. Um, it's not luxury for the sake of luxury, it's actually a very premium execution. Their main obstacle is still to convince the people who are driving a German car to put that aside and go to a Korean car. That'll be their biggest task. As we've seen, Hyundai is very serious about this new Genesis. When I say serious, I mean they really believe that German buyers are going to kick the tires of this new car. And heck, they've tested this vehicle at Nürburgring, they've had Lotus engineering input into it, they've got a lot of value packed into this vehicle at a very competitive price. And another thing, Hyundai claims 68% of their customers are new to the company. Now you throw in that all-wheel drive and maybe Hyundai knows what they're talking about.